Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a couple weeks ago or I think last week I posted a video about my natural nails and how I had to cut them off but this is the glow up. <laughs> um, at the end of the video I did say uh, wait for the glow up and this is it. So I know I posted a couple of videos since then so if you haven't seen the original video please go back and watch that one as well and then you'll understand um, the preface to this video. But for the most part, I cannot remember. <laughs> this has been so long ago that I cannot remember what nail tips I used. I believe they are from Model 1s, but I love this classic square, just um, basic nail shape with a little bit of a curve. Um, it is definitely my jam and I'm here for it. And I've always loved this shape, so... I'm excited, but <laughs> uh, we are going to get into it. So as you saw from the title of today's video, I am using my Timu Poly Gel. It's been a while um, since I ordered this or since I chose this as part of my order for my Timu videos. And I just wanted to show everyone what it works like and how easy it actually is to use. So this Poly Gel um, is very, very firm um, and it's easy to spread though. Um, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to ombre, but the blue and the purple that I received were very similar in shimmer, shimmer wise, like the glitter was the same and different things like that. So I was like, let's go ahead and use these two colors, but I wanted to do a long ombre this time. What I mean by that is that I just wanted to do like blue on the tip and then the rest of the nail purple. So that is what I'm going to try to achieve and try to accomplish today and I could not believe <laughs> how easy this poly gel was to use like it's literally feels like it's the firmness of like a brick <laughs> right but it honestly is one of the easiest poly gels to use and the reason why is because my brush hardly stuck to this poly gel at all and to keep it fair, I just use like a regular, my OG poly gel brush that I've had for a really long time from the brand Lanfo. It is one of my favorite size poly gel brushes and I love the way that it works and product never gets or stays stuck in it when it does get a little bit stuck. So yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. So normally I would use one of my larger brushes for poly gel um, because it spreads a lot easier and a lot quicker but I just wanted to give the poly gel the advantage of using one of these smaller brushes that you would get in just a normal size kit now I know this video is a lot longer today than my normal videos but lately I have been posting longer videos and you guys have been pretty receptive to that so I really appreciate it I do try to keep my videos under 15 minutes because <laughs> I mean I, I, I personally don't like to sit through extra long videos all of the time, so um, it is kind of nice when people keep their videos a little bit shorter, and um, just coming from somebody who works full-time and all of that stuff, and it's been really hard for me to stay caught up on videos lately. I have been watching videos, but I've been watching them on my TV, like before I get ready for bed and things, so I don't always remember to go back and comment um, or, you know, things like that. Now, normally I try to watch videos that I normally wouldn't comment on anyway, but it's just been, you know, like, it's been pretty busy and crazy and hectic and things like that at work and, um, very stressful and very overwhelming. So by the time I'm done with my work, I get off at 7 p.m. Central Time and I don't want to watch like premieres. I don't want to people. I don't want to talk. <laughs> I just, I just want to come home and chill and, or get off work and chill and like, just not 
not do people. Um, and it's nothing against anybody on YouTube or anybody, you know, like the type of videos they post or anything. It's just me personally. And it's like, it's just been very overwhelming and very, 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 very stressful. And it has me contemplating if it's worth the 40 hours that I put in and worth, you know, um, having a heart attack or a stroke over, to be real honest, um, because I always try to do the best I can at every single thing that I do. And I put a lot of pressure on myself because I know what the type of service that I would like to receive doing certain work or calling into certain places and things like that. And I try to reflect that in me as a person, uh, right? Because I, I just, I mean, I think it's it's crappy to treat people horribly um, or say things about them that aren't true and all that crazy stuff, right? So I, I believe in the golden rule and I believe in karma a lot. Um, and I want the good karmas to come back to me. And so I put a lot of pressure on myself. Um, I really do. Plus trying to maintain a YouTube channel and get these videos out for you guys and things like that. I just, um, having a hard time with balance. <laughs> um, I'm really struggling with time management lately in my personal and my work life. Um, it just, I just feel like no matter what I do, I just, I can't get it right. Um, I just can't relax. Like I've, I've worked myself up. Like I worked two jobs when I was younger all the time. And then I had two kids back to back. And then I, um, ran into a really, really big hardship when they were about six and seven years old. And then I moved, to, I moved, um, I relocated and then I, <laughs> I went through a lot through that process and learning myself and, um, still obviously have a couple things to work on, but you guys, it's just been, Lately, um, I've been, yeah, I've, I've really been struggling. Like, I'm in this midlife crisis kind of thing. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but something needs to change because whatever is happening right now just isn't sitting well with me kind of thing. Like, I, I need to get going on a lot of things. Like, becoming a licensed nail tech is really bugging me now that I haven't been able to get licensed for, like, years now. And it just shouldn't be that hard or that difficult. But... I need a job to make the payments and a job to get through the program, but yet this job is like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, I'm just in that space right now, right? It's like, ah, uh, just really struggling. <laughs> but yeah, so I apologize in advance again if I haven't been commenting on your videos or you don't think I'm watching or anything like that. I have been. I'm just in this weird headspace right now. But anyway, I'm, I'll get through it. Um, I'll bounce back. So if you see me binge watch your channel and comment on a bunch of your videos all at one time, it's because I've already watched the videos. It just, um, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> back to the nails after that whole long vent session. Um, so I have this, um, sorry, I'm still, outside distractions are like, really getting to me today, but I will not let this devil win. <laughs> um, anywho, after I, uh, used the light blue, I did go in with the purple. You'll see I'm using a lot more because I just wanted that shorter version or that shorter bit at the end to be blue. And, um, you can see that it is, it's going to be ombre beautifully. So with the poly gel ombre, you're literally just going to drag it down. Um, so I make sure to put as much product as I can around that cuticle area and make sure that that's nice and even and flush and looks good. And once I'm happy with the cuticle area, I'll pull it down over the blue very slowly, even though I sped the video up. <laughs> Um, and just kind of leave that little bit of blue poking out at the end. I turn my nail every angle, every which way, just to see like where I need to shape it a little bit and different things like that. We are still going to clear cap this poly gel design. So if you see like if it looks a little bit misshapen or it's a little bit bumpy in some areas, it really doesn't matter. I am going to go in with a clear and it's not to cover up the shimmer. That's one thing I also loved about this poly gel is that um, the shimmer didn't carry over in my brush so much that it would carry into the next set. So, like I was able to clean my brush really well 
and um this poly gel was like super easy to use and it just absolutely loved it <laughs> uh, i would highly recommend this brand the brand is miss cheering and i think overall this brand on timu has been really well i've been watching other people's videos and watching their reviews about this brand and it's just been really really wonderful so uh, from the gel polish to the poly gel to everything that people have been using. I think they might have acrylic, but I really love this. This poly gel is sh so shimmery and so beautiful. And after I have everything ombre, it's just looking so amazing. So there were a couple of nails and a couple of spots where I feel like I needed just a little bit more purple to make it more opaque and really like stand out. And so I did go ahead and get that applied. And then now you can see I'm going in with my McCart Clear. This is my go-to clear for poly gel. I use it all the time and I have so much of it. I even have tubes that haven't even been opened yet <laughs> um, because I like to use it so much. I used to use poly gel a lot more on my channel and I just... Um, ever since I cut or trimmed my natural nails, I just haven't really had the opportunity or the, um, uh, I don't know what you want to say, like the nerve to <laughs> attempt to do my nails again. I don't know if I want to do both hands, but I'm enjoying having a free hand so that I can put on the press-ons that I make to, so you guys can see what they look like on an actual hand. Um, and I've also, I work with a specific brand who always wants to see pictures of the nails on your hand. And I'm just like, that's just not always feasible for me because I don't want to remove my nails and I don't want the press-ons to look all wonky and weird. Um, and so that's why I was really only like just working on one hand so that I would have a free hand on the other side. And it's just, I don't know. Um, I digress about that. It's like you can only you can only do so much, right? Um, so, and I'm not getting paid anything extra when I do PR. I just literally do PR like from the bottom of my creativity. I don't. Um, they don't pay me like money to do the video. Um, I know I need like better lighting and better recording equipment and things like that for my videos to really look like 100% professional to the point where I feel like, okay, now, you know, F you pay me <laughs> like type of things, you know, like that kind of thing. I just really enjoy sharing my nail art and different things and, um, you know, helping people come up with other creative things or maybe gaining some inspiration and different things like that with my nail art this far. So um, if you are a new subscriber to my channel, thank you so much. I'm sorry that you walked into this crazy, <laughs> like, um, me venting type of video. So, um, if this is the first video you're seeing, thank you for hanging in this far for sure. And you can see, um, with this top coat reveal, how gorgeous this poly gel is. Like, even after filing and even after using clear poly gel over it, it is just so, so gorgeous. But of course, you know, I could have just left it plain like this because I absolutely loved this look. Like, it is so, so pretty. Um, but you know, I had to add my little extra. I always have to do a little extra. I always have to do something different. But I wanted to try some things that I haven't tried this far. Um, so, and some other Timu items that I have received and different things like that, but I'll explain that as I get into it. But I really appreciate you all so much for tuning in because, um, I try to be informative and I try to help out as much as possible, but I am in no way a professional or an instructor or anything like that. Um, I have just really perfected my DIY game <laughs> over the last couple of years and I just I just enjoy sharing. Like I love doing content. It gives me something to do outside of the normal everyday regular things. So I try to post as much as possible, but I don't I, I try to have even a set posting schedule at one point in time and then it interfered with other people's schedules and all kinds of stuff. So now I just post whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Um, and I never do premieres and things like that just in case someone else has a premiere and all of that good stuff because I don't want to be like disrespectful to some people who I still consider my nail sisters um, and different things like that. That's just who I am as a person. But 
You guys, um, I do keep my thumb shorter on purpose. That is intentional. I didn't even really do a great job shaping my thumb because it just really didn't even care about it on this set. <laughs> Uh, but now I am going in with the stickers. So these stickers are from Timu and I really, really, really love these. And I was just trying to decide which color that I wanted to use. But one thing about them is you do have to be very careful with any nail stickers that you use. Um, they're very, very fragile and they will tear very easily. And it just kind of messes up the whole design and defeats the purpose of the stickers. <laughs> Um, but I didn't want to do any nail art at this point. I had already spent a long time, um, doing the poly gel and things like that. So by the time it was like coming around to the nail art time, I wanted to get these all done in one day. I didn't want to have to come back and finish them, that kind of thing. So I was like, let's use some of the like hundreds of stickers that I got off Timo. <laughs> Why not? So just to keep it, the theme consistent. Um, and I felt like these laser color stickers were just perfect to go with all the shimmer and the goodness of the poly gel. And so um, I started with my middle finger because I just felt like that was a good central point for, you know, all of the different decorations and things like that. Um, and then, yeah, just really, really pretty. Like, let's just take a look at that for a second. <laughs> Um, but then I took a couple of the other butterfly designs and I even use the star stickers. You guys, I like never use these little stars that are on these, these stickers. I don't know why I just, the star thing, I, I can't get with it. Like, like the clouds with the stars and, and all of that. I love the cloud design. I just, I just never really got into the star thing, but, um, it did help tie in the entire set. And since they were part of the um, stickers themselves, I just thought that they looked really neat together. So I did go ahead and include those. And um, yeah, very, very pretty. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I ruined my purple butterfly. Um, and this was the video or this was the set that I ruined it in. <laughs> so you can see it's on my hand that I'm doing my nails on, right? I should have put it on my thumb, um, so that way I didn't ruin any of the nail design. But then not only that, I went to, after I put on these blue bubble beads, I actually got these off of Amazon, so not Timu, but... After I had all these beads where I wanted them, I did go ahead and put my whole hand in the lamp, including the actual ring, and I only put it in there for like two to three seconds. And normally that would not cure the glue, but it did cure the glue onto this um, little stand and I, I couldn't get it off. So yeah, um, off of my little ring. Good times. Everything, I feel like everything is just crashing down around me today. Like, what is the deal? I'm so sorry for this energy. Like, <laughs> I can't even speak. I can't even think of what I want to say. And like I said, I recorded this a long time ago, so it's really hard for me to remember the steps and things that I went through. Um, but yeah, just needed to get, I guess, some things off of my chest and vent a little bit. So if you guys are going through a hard time or you're just really having a tough time like mentally trying to get through things and you're just going through really big changes in life where you're like where do I belong and what's my purpose and what should I do <laughs> um then you're not alone um you're definitely not alone I uh, I just been I tried to do the whole small business thing and get my press-ons kicked off which I mean you can always purchase press-ons from me but I I haven't been very serious about it but I just need to get my stuff together and I really need to start taking myself really seriously. Like I, I need to create a whole schedule and just dedicate my time to that. I need to start making dates and setting deadlines and like say, you know, this time is for editing videos. This time is for recording videos. This time is for watching videos. Um, you know, obviously this time I'm working. So that's 40 hours of the week already carved out. Um, yeah, and just go through and actually plan out my nail sets and what I want to do and how I want to do it and when to post and how to edit. I mean, it's just been like so overwhelming when I say that, like, but um, <laughs> it's just been super hard. So um, again, if you're if you're going through the struggle, it's it's real. Um, it's real for everybody. And I'm not just talking about like financially, I'm talking about 
just everything um, feels like it's just piling up at once or coming down at once. So I appreciate, again, everybody's support and um, all of your encouragement to keep going um, because this is definitely a time where I do want to post and I do want to keep creating content, but it's really hard for me to to keep going. <laughs> um, so I appreciate you all. You guys are seriously, like, honestly, truly the best part of my channel. <laughs> and I couldn't do it without you. So I'm just going to let some music play at this point because I feel like I'm just rambling on. But, um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.